Welcome to a tutorial on how to graph a linear function on the TA-89 graphing calculator. The first step is to enter the function into the calculator. To do this, we press diamond F1. Let's enter the function in Y1. So let's press the up arrow, clear, to clear the old function. And now we'll enter the new linear function. So we'll enter negative 2 divided by 3, x plus 4. And now to graph this linear function using the standard window, we press F2 for zoom, and then option 6 for zoom standard. If we knew we already had the standard window, which is from negative 10 to positive 10 along the horizontal and vertical axes, we could have just pressed diamond F3 for graph. So here we see the graph of the line. If we press F3 for trace, we can scroll along the line and notice how the approximate coordinates appear toward the bottom of the screen. However, if we want more accurate points on the line, what we can do is use the table feature. To access the table feature, we press diamond F5. And before we scroll up and down on this table, let's take a look at the table set by pressing F2. Notice right now the table start is at zero. The change in the table is by ones, which is typical. And notice here toward the bottom it says automatic. In automatic mode, we can scroll up and down the table to view x values and their corresponding y values. If we were to scroll down to the automatic or auto, press the right arrow and change this setting to ask, this would allow us to enter any x value we wish and their corresponding y value would be automatically calculated. Let's go ahead and leave this in automatic though, so I'll press escape. Let's go back to the table by pressing diamond F5. And now if we scroll up or down, we can see as many points as we wish they would be on the given line. So if we were graphing this on our paper, we would select the more convenient coordinates. For example, the coordinates are both coordinates are integers. Let's also go back to the graph now by pressing diamond F3. Another way to find points on the line would be to adjust the window so that if we press trace, the x and y values would be more convenient. To do this, let's press F2 for zoom, and now we'll select option four for zoom decimal. So let's go ahead and press four. Regraphs the line with a different window, and if we trace along the line by pressing F3, notice how the x values are now convenient decimals. So if we scroll to the right, Notice how we could select points that would be easy for us to plot on our paper. If we did want to change the window manually, we would lose the zoom decimal setting. To adjust the window manually, we press diamond F2. Here's where we change the max and min along the horizontal or x-axis and max and min along the vertical or y-axis. Let's go back to the graph one last time by pressing second F3. One way to change the window without losing the zoom decimal setting would be to zoom out. So let's go ahead and press F2 and then F3 for zoom out. It's asking us to place the cursor at the new center. So let's go ahead and move to the left. And up. And press enter. So this zooms out. And if we press trace now by pressing F3, notice how the setting is still zoom decimal, even though X is changing by a different scale. Looks like by 0 0.8 each time. I hope you found this helpful.